Hey Realtors, today I want to talk about arms and how they can help your buyers with higher mortgage payments right now. So arms stand for adjustable rate mortgages and as all of you are aware, rates have more than doubled in the last four to six months and it's preventing some buyers from getting out there and exploring the market even though the market has absolutely turned in favor for the buyers and almost a complete buyer's market. So adjustable rate mortgages, the two products I wanna talk about the most are a five-year arm and a seven-year arm. So a seven-year arm, very popular in my world right now. And just so you're aware, for over five years, my team and I closing 250 loans a month, to, uh, a year, 250 loans a year to 300 loans a year, in over five years, we didn't do any arms because the rate environment was so good. The rates just kept going down. Now we're looking at arms because in certain situations, buyers can get better than a point interest rate by doing a seven year or a five year arm versus a 30 year fix. So on a seven year arm, we qualify the buyer at the start rate, okay? And a seven year arm means that the rate is not going to adjust for seven years, it's fixed for seven years. Uh, after that seven years, there are things called margins where my arms can't go up more than 2% per year uh, after that seven year fixed rate. And there's no prepayment penalties, okay? So people can refinance, that's the key of what I want you to know. People can refinance whenever they want and get back down or get back into a 30 year fix. Okay, so a seven year arm, a lot better interest rate, probably about a point better than a 30 year fixed right now. A five year arm is another product out there. The difference between a five and a seven is that on a five year, we have to qualify those buyers at two percentage points higher than their, than their start rate uh, because the arm is going to adjust after five years so it's not long enough for the agencies to just let us qualify them at what that that start rate is so we have to qualify them at two percentage points higher than what their start rate is for a five-year arm so again no prepayment penalties on these uh, i do feel like we're going to be refinancing everybody that has gotten a mortgage probably from april to now this year, eventually, who knows when, I'm not gonna make any predictions, but I think, you know, hopefully the sooner the better, but it could be six months, a year, two years, I'm not sure, but most people are gonna be fortunate enough to refinance here soon. I don't think we're gonna see rates get back down to the threes, probably ever again, who knows, uh, but I think we're gonna see them around 5%, which will help just about everyone that's done a mortgage from April to now. So five years, seven year arms, they're great ways to go for people to get into save monthly payments or save payments, uh, save money on their payments until they can refinance. Or, you know, and actually a lot of people don't even keep a mortgage anymore for more than five years. So just really encourage your buyers. It's another way to get into a lower payment versus a 30 year or a 15, or, or a 15 year fixed. Uh, and also, arm mortgages are more risky right so they require a little stronger buyer it's really not going to make sense for somebody unless they're doing 25 percent down they need to have at least probably a 700 to 720 fico score um, and then an arm is going to make a lot of sense for your buyers so if you guys have any questions reach out to me i'd love to go over these details with you tell you how we can help our best assist your clients buyers with their dreams and goals of home ownership and how an arm may work for them. And again, if you're a realtor in California or Arizona, closing eight plus deals a year or more, call me, let's brainstorm. I hope to hear from you soon. You guys have a beautiful day.